The presentation of your PowerPoint is known as your slideshow. This is when you go from one slide to another to another as you talk through your presentation. To help enhance your slideshow, you can add transitions between the slides, animations to different elements on each slide. These can make your overall PowerPoint presentation look quite effective. First of all, we'll look at the slideshow. This allows you to play your presentation so you can see what the viewer will see when it's being presented. To do this, you should select the slideshow tab and then you can start your slideshow. You can choose from beginning, from the current slide, or make a custom option. We always recommend watching it from the beginning at least once to make sure everything looks good. If you think your presentation is looking a little boring, you might want to add a transition between the slide. This will add a certain style or animation as one slide moves to another. To do this, select the Transitions tab, and then find the transitions to the slide group. If you bring down the drop-down, you will see a whole range of different options. Have a select and play around with them to see what they look like on your slides. You can change the timing of your slide transition. Now, imagine you're giving a presentation to a group of people. You probably want to control when your presentation changes slides. The best thing to do here is keep on mouse click selected. This means that when you click the mouse or a certain key on your keyboard, it'll transition slides. To use this option, select the Transitions tab, and then in the Timing group, make sure that On Mouse Click is selected. Sometimes you might make a presentation that you just want to play over and over. You might have an expo at a careers day, and someone might be viewing your presentation. You're not going to stand and talk to the presentation, but it will be on repeat. To do this, you need to make sure that each slide has enough time so that people can read it. To set a specific time for your transition, select the Transitions tab, find the Timing group, and then select the After option. You'll need to set a specific time with this, for example, one minute, two minute, or something like that. Next, we have animations. Animations are applied to different elements and objects within each slide. For example, you can make your title appear or your image fade in. These can be set and layered to appear at different times. Having your text set to animate can be quite handy. Imagine you have eight bullet points on your page you can make each appear one by one so that the viewers cannot get ahead of your presentation and must keep up with what you're saying whilst you're presenting it. To set an animation, select the Animations tab and then select an object on your page. Select an option from the animation group and then this will be applied to it. You can use the preview option to see what it will all look like. You can adjust the timings on each animation. So for example, it could be on click, or you might have a time delay similar to the transition. To change the timings, you can go to the animation tab and then find the timing group, and then you can choose your selection. You can also order your animations. Imagine you have eight animations on one page. You'll want things to go and appear on your page in a certain order. For example, the title would be first, then a small piece of text, then an image, then the rest of your text. It wouldn't make sense if the title was the last thing to appear on your slide. To adjust the order, select the animation group 
and then find the timing function. This will allow you to reorder everything. When using animations, sometimes less is more. Be careful with the, the variety that you use and make sure that every time you use it, it has a specific purpose. If you're just using animations for the sake of using animations, it might make your PowerPoint presentation too busy and actually detract from the overall presentation.